What's up, everybody, and welcome to a bonus conversation. Um, I know it's kind of weird, but I uh, decided to go on um, TikTok Live on Friday night and was talking to you fine people, and sure enough, I got a request uh, to join lives with a very good friend of the show, Justin Danger Nunnally. If you don't know who that is, if you get on TikTok, you will TikTok, you will see one of his videos, I guarantee it. Uh, great dude. Excellent person. Um, in fact, he is actually, uh, he has actually put together a GoFundMe page, um, which I encourage all of you to look into. I will put the uh, link, uh, in the comments section or in just the area, uh, for this episode. Um, but this GoFundMe is for, uh, kids and children who are not in a very good situation this Christmas. Uh, this money is going to go to make sure that these kids have, uh, an excellent Christmas. Uh, their goal right now is to hit $50,000 that we could uh, give to these kids. Um, but I'm hoping that they surpass it. And I, I feel very honored that we get to somehow participate in helping this happen. Uh, but we had a very good conversation that I thought it was good enough to put out for you guys, for those that did not see the live or would just like to hear about this, this great guy. He's a really cool, cool dude. And uh, it was a pleasure talking to him. So I hope you guys enjoy our conversation. Thank you all so very much. And we will see you next time. See ya. The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh oh, here comes Nunnally. Uh oh, what are we doing here? Oh, here we go. Oh man. What I'm are you my, doing? Well, I'm on my backup because I was bad earlier. <laughs> oh, really? Were you? Yeah. Well, TikTok said I was. No, I was watching. You were doing Friends uh, trivia, weren't you? Yeah, that's when it came down. That's when it came down? Oh. I was I was in there screaming. I knew some of the answers before some of the girls did. I was a huge Friends fan. Yeah, I don't I don't know what they were doing. You don't want to know my opinion. I promise you. Hey, listen. Oh. What's what? the hat? What's the what? hat? The hat. Win my hometown, man. Wind surge. Double A ball. Hey, I'll send you a uh, blue Wahoo's hat if you'll send me one of those. Damn right. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I'm uh I'm I'm really good friends with the uh he's basically the GM so I I do a really? podcast for our minor league team here. That's what's up. Yeah, dude, I enjoy it a lot. Um, I told you. I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. What? Bama. I I know. Damn it. Told you. I why why do you guys always win? What's the deal? I you know what I. I I I fully accept it, and I'm okay with it that someone has sold their soul to the devil. <laughs> yeah, you guys did. You have. You totally have. Like, bro, it's... like, how do you come out <laughs> like that after you've been, like, been struggling basically all season with every damn game? Dude, they took them out behind the barn and beat the hell out of them. It almost kind of feels like like they had they had the reins on Bryce Young all season. And they said, "Bro, go do what you do. Go, go do your deal." But yeah, I don't get it. I was really pulling for. Uh, I mean, I kind of wasn't. I kind of wasn't because I think that uh, I really wanted Cincy to be in it, like I really did. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of pulling for that underdog card, I guess. But dude, they're just gonna get wrecked by Bama. I know they I don't, are. I think I really, and I hate to say this, because I, I mean, it, the rich only get richer in college football, right? You're <laughs> yeah. not. I don't. I don't think a team like that will ever win at all. I don't see it. It ain't basketball, man. Mm -hmm. No, it, I know. The only thing but they I, have going for them, though, is that they're not beat the hell up. Right true, now. they're not hurt. That's Locked definitely up true. We are, dude. You're gonna have one hell of a year. You are, you're gonna have the Braves win. You're gonna have Bama win. That's a damn good year. You'll be, no, you, you want me to tell you how it's going to be an even better year? What's that? So I, I went to the World Series game, right? 
Oh, God, I'm so jealous, yes. I'm trying to finagle tickets to the Natty. If I can get those two, oh, if I can get bro. both of those, I will pay whatever to go to the Super Bowl, and I'm going to Daytona. Oh, man, I couldn't go to NASCAR. That's one thing with me, man. I just You've never it. been to – listen, you've I, got to go to a, one and sit down on the wall. I, and we have it here. We have it in, uh, in KC. So we, 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 can, we, can't, we can go. I work for a dealership, so I have all the opportunities in the truck. world. Yeah, they do. But, I mean, I've been – I like going to Topeka. Topeka has uh, top fuel. I like top fuel. I can get down with some top fuel. One direction, go, go as fast as you can. I get that. The turning nonsense and, and doing laps, I just don't get. I like the, uh, I like the restrictor plate races. I love the drafting, man. When they come by you and you couldn't shove a piece of paper in between the cars, that yeah. is impressive. Yeah. Rubbing yeah. almost 200 mile an hour. Oh, yeah, 100%. Rubbin's racing, dude. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what the no, hell are I'm, you doing up, dude? It's freaking it's freaking 2 o'clock in the morning almost where you're at. No, no, I'm uh, central. It's only midnight. Oh, no kidding. I thought you were, I thought you were in uh... – a different time zone. I guess you're in the same one as I am. Yep. Well, well hell. I'm in uh I'm in West Florida. I'm up by Destin, so Oh, whoa, 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 I got you. I got you. Until right before Tallahassee. Okay. All right. Well then yeah, then yeah, you got plenty of time. <laughs> I do want to go to Bristol. I would love to go to Bristol. Okay. Go. Why don't you just go? Bristol's a hard ticket to get, ain't it? Uh I mean, it's expensive. Get on the podcast ASAP. I'm I'm waiting on my boy here. I I got it figured out now. We're having some uh, some software stuff get switched over. I'm working all kinds of equipment. And I've I, got what set I up. Oh yeah, I did. I did my first podcast today. I, I went on. Do you know Josh Terry? I think I could, did. You do any of it live? No. Okay. Um, then no, I didn't see it. No, it was uh, Josh Terry. Uh, Politics, religion, whiskey. It's a pretty big podcast. Okay. Uh, I did it today. That was the first time I've rolled it with, with my mic and uh, yeah. a 4K camera and everything. And it turned out really well. Yeah. I need to – are you are you using Apple products or are you doing PC? Uh, I do everything PC, man, except for I my mobile to. devices. Yeah, I know. I need to switch over to PC because the camera is the problem with ours. Like if you ever look at it on YouTube and stuff like that, it gets kind of grainy. And it's because the compatibility from Mac to uh, to um, the cameras and stuff, they're not you know as compatible. What I, you know what I like to use for a webcam? What's up? What Joe Pro, bro. Really? Yes. Yes. Because they, they've right. got – you can download the software now to use it as a webcam. And, I mean, it's oh, really? 4K and shit, yeah. Huh. I'll GoPro's have to look into that. Go. Dude, I'll have to look into that because I was looking at a freaking Nikon because it's compatible with Mac. And, dude, I'm talking, that thing is like two two grand. Yeah, GoPro, man. I'll definitely look into that then. That sounds way better than what I was looking into. What are, what, uh, What's the host site you're using? Are, are you using Anchor? No, no, no. I didn't know. I was just on a podcast. Oh, you were on a podcast. Oh, yeah. I thought you said you were going to start your own. No, I haven't. Um, well, we're going to. It's probably okay. going to be after the first of the year because we're trying to raise the money for the kids and everything right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, um, dude, we're, it, we are balls deep in that. It's bad. <laughs> hey, man. Well, and it's right. not so much like the fundraising. It's like going through all the emails and everything and trying to find the right families that need help. And, yep. dude, it is the most depressing task ever. Yeah. Um, I can't remember. I, I want to I tell you something, but, I like, with great success comes a little bit of responsibility and digging through that shit. But, like, we're the guys that would do it. Does yeah. that make sense? Like, yeah. we're, good, we're good people. We would do it all day long, even though it sucks sometimes, man. It's the right thing to do. Dude, I'm telling if, you, I will sit and read some of these emails and just be crying yeah. like a baby by the I, end of the just like, I know. I'm not a crier. But just yeah. realize that like some people 
have like such problems, man. It's yeah. We we trying to help them out for Christmas. Hopefully, hopefully yeah. we a bunch of kids Christmas. Yeah, I I don't have near as many people that you have on, but plug it, dude. So for sh- well, for- you go to my profile, go to my profile and click the link in my bio. I I uh, assembled ten uh, ten social media influencers, and we're trying to raise fifty thousand dollars to provide as many kids Christmas that would not have Christmas if we didn't step in. Like yeah. we're looking for the the worst off. You know what I'm saying? Like kids that would basically go back to school after the first of the year and have to listen to what Santa brought everybody else and they didn't get nothing. That's yeah. the kids we're trying to find. Yep. I'm donating after I get off the freaking show with you or live. I I figured you were asleep. No. I'm well. I've, I've been working night shift. So oh like, no, kidding. So I'm off tonight, and now I'm just like, really need to go to bed, but I don't want to. <laughs> Do you have to work tomorrow? No, no. Bryant's got I an ha- archery tournament. Have you ever been to archery tournament? Yes. Bro, I love my kids. I do. Mm-hmm. And I watch him shoot. But man, <laughs> <don't know. laughs> Well, I mean, okay, but do you, I'm a guess, but do you like bow hunting? Love it. Okay. So, I mean, it, it it's just development. <laughs> Yeah, but the adrenaline rush you get. That's you true. Don't, you don't get that by sitting in the stands and watching a bunch of kids shoot at a target. Yeah. Well, if they let you put up a stand like at the archery term or at the competitions, then it'll be okay, right? Let, let me tell you what I did last <laughs> year. What's up, Ginger? Meredith's up in here. Um, let me tell you what I did, right? So I his first archery tournament, I didn't know that it was like golf. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm supposed to know. There was a sign that says "Stay quiet," right? In my defense, I thought I didn't pay attention to that sign. I just thought it was some COVID bullshit, like you know, wear a <laughs> mask and everything, right? Yeah, that's what I thought it was. So I didn't pay any attention to it. So when when they get to the line, they 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 tell them to you know go take their places. So they walk up to the line. As they're walking up, I I do. I was the only idiot. In a gymnastic, screamed. People. I was like, "Let's go, Bryant! You can do it!" <laughs> yes, bro. Oh. When, when I tell you that the coach of that team stopped the tournament, it's like, oh "We're God. not doing that. We're not doing that." <laughs> oh, dude! But that's awesome, though, that you did that. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure your kid. I'm sure your kid was absolutely embarrassed as well. <laughs> oh, dude, he wanted, uh, bro. Yeah, he wanted to tell them to do this. But that's that's just <laughs> not the stuff I have done to to intentionally embarrass him. That one was more embarrassing for me because I was like, I didn't know. How the hell am I supposed to know? It's not your fault. That's that's so funny. No, Didn't I've been to in briefing here. You know, I'm military. Should we not embrief people when they walk in the door? Like, hey, dumbass, don't be yelling or anything, okay? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's so funny, man. Oh God. And- and then my wife looks over and she's like, are you serious right now? And I was like, what? <laughs> well, well, like I'm assuming Crystal's been to a couple of those then. No, I think she was just like, it was kept pretty much common sense for her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, did you not notice nobody else was talking? I was like, I was trying to liven the place up. She was like, I, I know. Of people, why? You put people, you put people like like me and you in a freaking like public area. We want to have a good time. This is Dude, like, let's I'm, go, people. I'm the one that starts the wave, bro. Yes, one hundred percent. We are packed out stadium, and I'm trying to get everybody off the ass. Right? Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> exactly right. I've started the wave multiple times. Oh, that's so funny. God, that's a but. Club. But we don't get embarrassed either. Like once we do it and we screw and we screw up, it's just like, what? What's yeah. wrong with you guys? Yeah. Why are y'all I all acting like yeah. a bunch of douches? You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so funny though. People no, I've been about what other people think, bro. Yeah, I know. Uh like I've been to one I've been to one archery contest. It's been a while, but it, it was. It was uh it was definitely like golf. Oh. 
it which threw me off though you know i mean i i it didn't do what makes you sense did huh i mean it kind of makes sense so after looking at it because you're like you know you got to hit that anchor point and you don't want any flinching or anything so i get it yeah but it's just still like yo i can't get oh no Oh, there you went. Okay, you now you're back. You, I lost you for a second. Is there an echo? Am I delayed now? Uh, a little bit, I think. Maybe a little bit, but not too bad. Let's see. If it don't fix, I'll jump out and come right back in. No, you're Um, good. Now you're fine. what about what about our boy Freddie, man? Freddie, which Freddie? Oh, Freddie Freeman? What about him? Have I missed something? They ain't gonna bring back, are they? To Atlanta? No, they ain't going to lose Freddy. That's I'm your here. franchise. I'm looking it up because I haven't looked it up in the past few days. No, that's your all's franchise yeah. player. That, no, they're still talking. They're still talking that um, he might be going to the Dodgers. No. No. Bro. I can't not like Freddy. No, I, I agree. Love the dude. I wish he would finish his career out there. You know, I, I don't know. I think that there's a little bit of friction with him in the front office. Oh, God. That sucks so much. Well, you know, and what, what sucks, though, is, is you know, your, your automatic, you know, as a fan, you want to be like, dude, just take a little bit of a pay cut and stay in Atlanta, right? But at the same time, you got to put that on the franchise too, and you're like, guys, this guy has won MVP. He he has led us to the land of milk and honey. You know, oh, you pay the man, pay him. Uh, and it's been done before too in Atlanta. Like you had three of arguably some of the best pitchers of the '90s. No, it's not even arguably. You had three of the best pitchers of the '90s. Madden, on, Smoltz, and Glavin on the same team. Throughout the '90s, and only won one ship, dude. How it's does that? Thing. And you know, How? the crazy thing about it is, is that we won, we won the World Series this year without Max Fried, without yeah. Ron Acuna. Like, yeah. come on now. I don't. I really hope that doesn't happen. Just as a just as a baseball fan. But, like, even if Freddie puts on a Dodgers jersey, I still have to root for Freddie. Like, he's that good of a dude. Yeah. I just can't not like him. He reminds me a lot of Tony Gwynn, but if he ends up leaving. Bro, Tony Gwynn, he blows <clears throat> my mind with some of the stats that people throw out about him. It is mind-blowing. That's, that's my dream memorabilia piece that I'm working on right now. Like I'm in the midst of a bidding war right now. It's the. Uh, you, are you on Raz huh? No. Where I don't want to give you. I don't want to give you much. I'll give it to you off air. <laughs> Text, yeah, t- hit me off air. <laughs> I just want to go watch it. I'm not going to go bid on it. Uh, I, I, I'm trying to get the old school framed brown Padres jersey with Tony Gwynn's uh, signature on it. That's that's Dude, my favorite I, ball player of all time. I got one of my uh, one of my. Bucket list pieces, um, probably about three weeks ago, and it's getting framed with the LED lights and everything right now. What'd you get? Griffey Jr. Nike jersey. Oh, no! You yeah. jerk. I, I'm Dude, so I jealous wait. of you. I'm, Cannot wait. I'm you, like, five years from now. It's no fair. What, That's you awesome. Haven't seen, bro, you haven't seen half of my stuff. A lot of it's at my I baseball. Believe you. Oh, Yeah. Oh yeah, oh you need to, you need to take a couple of uh, pictures and fr- freaking send them my way. Oh, I yeah. love that stuff. Yeah, um, I'm here. I'll, I'll uh, I don't have all of my stuff up because th- this is the studio and so it's kind of small. But mm-hmm. I've got I've got Stan right there, usual, and then I've got Yachty. Oh, Yachty's the man. I I love Yachty. Oh. I'm the Ozzy Smith jersey framed. Oh, what do you, you want? What? Ozzy Smith, the Wizard. What are you talking about? Greatest shortstop of all time. Yeah, he is. And then, and yes, I did put him over Jeter, one hundred percent. 
What? Right. Are you serious? You want an Ozzy Smith jersey? Yeah. Signed? Yeah. I'll I'll send one to you. I have three. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I'll send one to you. In Fair. fact, dude, I'm dead serious. I'll send it to you. My man. Um, I, I love think Ozzy Smith, bro. if I can find it, because I have one and it has a patch, but I don't remember what the patch is, and I think I have it in here. Dude, as a as a kid, Ozzy Smith was like a god to me. Oh no, I think I'm gonna have to go and ask my wife because I don't remember where it is. You better hey, not honey. wait. For Where's do you remember the Ozzy Smith jersey that I have that it's not in a frame? Do you know where that's at? Okay. All right. Sounds good. That's all I need. Thanks. Did y'all did y'all hear that husband did y'all hear that husband voice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he hit he hit that husband tone. Like honey. Yeah, yeah, bro. I'll send it to you. Dude, shoot that, me a PO Shoot me a PO box and I'll uh that, I'll send it your way. Awesome, bro. <laughs> My gift to you, bro. So you're spreading so the love. Studios downstairs, huh? That's a nice setup you got, bro. Yeah, man. I uh, I got lucky. Actually, I, I kind of talked her into buying this house. Or I, she talked me into buying it for other things. I talked her in, but one of the main things we wanted was a closed-off area, so that way we could soundproof it. And yeah, so I'm still trying to figure out where I'm gonna do. Where I'm gonna do mine here. I have no clue. I've been trying to figure it out. Yeah, it's because our dude, our house is like I'm not bragging or anything, but our house is huge, and every room is huge, and the ceilings are really oh. high. echo. Well, yeah. Uh huh. So like when I when I do it, like, I don't know. I've been thinking about because we've got some big closets, like just clearing mm-hmm. one closet out and soundproofing it. There is. Do you already have your mixers and stuff like that? No. Okay. All right. Um, here you go. Because this will help. All right. It's it's kind of it's kind of expensive. It's not as crazy expensive as you think, but it's a road. So it has it has noise canceling inside of the mixer itself. So a lot of the echoes and stuff, and we just got this. This is our brand new stuff. So whoops, I'm moving. But like, if if you want to hear the difference, listen to like five or six episodes ago compared to like now with, because uh, I just put our old mics back because they're better quality mics than what came with this. But it it cancels a lot of the echo out, and it has the ability to to notice noises that are not supposed to be on the show and it and it mutes them completely it's pretty really? fancy and, and i want to say five six hundred dollars for a mixer which is not bad at all no. compared to other mixers so really i could i, I wouldn't even have to soundproof a room if i got right one of... right for sure not a bad idea yeah it's yeah, any information over yeah I'll, I'll i'll take a picture of it and i'll shoot you a text and and uh if you ever need any help dude i'm I've been doing it now for fuck, four years. Yeah. Trying different things. And like this one just snowballed freaking. We were in the top 50 on Spotify last uh, couple weeks ago. Really? Yeah, dude. I had, I got, I got nothing. You know what I'm saying? I, I have two stand up comedians that nobody knows. <laughs> and here we are. Have fun. Awesome. That's awesome. Y'all are, are you? I love we it. try. We try. We're a little inappropriate, though. But, eh. You can't, you can't keep it. I mean, they, I mean, there's a fine line there. It's so hard to keep stuff, like, completely family-friendly and still be funny at the same time. Oh, dude, you broke the code. You broke the code. You figured it out. That ev- Everything, you nailed it. Thank you. You really you. did. It, dude, it's still hard, though. It is. Still, I bet. <laughs> like there is some stitches to where I'm just like, God, this would be so funny if I could say this, you know. I know. And but then I just back to keep it family friendly. That way you're more marketable, you know. Yes, hundred percent. 
we threw that way out the window. We waved bye bye to that way long ago, so we can't do that. But even whenever you you know what you're thinking, and you just go, nope, nope, and walk off camera, perfect because you the, didn't the do thought's anything. Already in the head. Like exactly. It's all about throwing the thought in the head. I just figured out how to put the thought in your head without saying it. Yeah. With me saying, I really like your earrings. Did you see yes. that one? Yes. I didn't have to say it. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, got, I got tons of them today. I got the uh, the, the Spider-Man mask guy. So yeah. I don't talk about what he was. Bro. <laughs> nope. Nope. Uh-uh. You're talking about my stitch, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Like, no. Like, damn it, Justin. <laughs> and every and, single time I see one that's like that, I'm like, damn it, Justin, you son of a bitch. Yep. <laughs> oh, what are they do? do I, you should see the stuff that I, I get don't tagged. know. The stuff I get tagged in or sent to me that I'm just like, nope, not touching that. I'll start sending yeah. it. To you. I'll start sending them to you because some of it is just like wow. God dang it! I don't know if I want you to or not. I've got this. I've got this really good friend of mine that's a preacher, and uh, he's got a he's got a pretty big TikTok account too, right? And I find it funny to send him the most jacked up stuff. <laughs> of course you would. Oh, I love we, it. I would do the same thing. I would do it too. Yeah. I'm like, well, I told him one day, I was like, bro, I was like, I could not imagine like my preacher seeing some of the stuff that you obviously have to see on your for you page. And he was like, honestly, my for you page wasn't that bad until you started sending me stuff. And, <laughs> and of course, it's so bad that you have to watch it like two or three times. And you're like, did that really just happen? So <laughs> now you've watched it a couple of times and the algorithm's like, oh, you like that. <laughs> no <laughs> you're gonna mess up my for you page yep. L- luckily I, I do have to say this like uh, all of our fans I will say are actually pretty good because what they'll send us like we'll have inside jokes on the show and stuff like that What's up, and they'll and they'll send stuff related to the the inside joke on the show right like we get we get shit about Delaware all the time it's really? and it's really fun. Yeah, we have an inside joke of, of uh, Delaware is like the the like there's a Las Vegas Delaware a New York Delaware. It's really stupid, but it, there's this inside joke about Delaware is the best, and we get all kinds of funny stuff about Delaware. Right. It's great. Yeah, but and I will say they're they're actually. I mean, every once in a while we will we will get a freaking weird one off the wall like blind react to this or something like that and i'm just like no i'm not going to i will get i will get booted and pulled so fast it won't even be funny i tell you i will not i will not stitch anybody um and i get tagged in a lot of them and a lot of them are pretty funny because you can tell the people have a sense of humor about like you know whether it be a disability or something you know what i'm saying and yeah humor about it kind of like ricky uh yeah i would never i would never stitch him even though he would be 100 percent cool with it i just i'm just like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that because it's something you can't help i will not yeah. now a dude sitting on his bed with no pants on licking chocolate off his pants bro i'm hitting that up all day long i'm sure you, you are <laughs> <laughs> was it chocolate though Uh, did you we'll did never you know his, justin it's not we're never gonna know did you go into his comment section no absolutely not no he responds, <laughs> bro he responds to a few comments and the way he spells chocolate killed me right? <laughs> <But> he's <laughs> like several comments down like people were like you shit on him right and, for the content, <laughs> and he had a good sense of humor about it and he said he responded somehow. He said, "You know what? On second thought, I, th- I don't think this is chocolate." 
Oh my god, that's awesome. At least he can joke too. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. Okay. All right. Then that's that's normal. God, What's bro, up? what are we doing? Uh, oh, Mini Gurn, how's it going, buddy? Oh man, that's so funny, dude. I'm I'm really proud of you. I'm really happy for you. You're doing awesome. It's it, it's awesome to see that you're doing great. I like seeing I like seeing good people do well. Yeah, and you're well, you're obviously a good bro. No, I do appreciate it. So you know those those questions that are going on. Which um, ones? Where you can like answer questions like what was your favorite video of 2021 and stuff or whatever. So they TikTok sent me that, and then I clicked on it, and it said it's no longer available. I think I've made them mad for long enough now that I cannot participate. Really? Pretty sure. I'm I'm pretty sure. Like there's the the algorithm is not liking me right this second. I did a pretty yeah. Well, I I I did we we did a I took a clip from the show. It was it was pretty bad, but it's still up. They haven't taken it down yet. I'm absolutely shocked because it's it's dark. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I'll have to go take that out because I haven't seen it yet. It's even even I was like, that's bad. That's that's pretty bad. But you know, I've gotten to the point where I'm like, if I think, it, even if the thought crosses my mind, like this may break community guidelines, I don't even post it. So I'm like, what good does it do? I'll send 100%. It, I'll, I'll, I'll still I'll still film it and mm-hmm. send it straight to the gram. You know what I'm saying? That way, yep. that way Instagram gets its own exclusive content. Uh, I we we just now opened Twitter. We're on Twitter now more than the Instagram because a lot of the podcast side is more on. If you go live a lot, you're on Twitch. If you go just on the podcast side, Twitter seems to be a lot better than Facebook or Instagram. Because yeah. the the best part about TikTok, if you make clips of your show and put it on TikTok, it automatically starts playing and the vo- the volume's already on. With on Instagram, if you're scrolling and you're seeing memes and stuff like that, you have to turn the volume on as opposed Dude, to TikTok. I don't, it's not, already on. I don't. If you it, are you uploading to Reels? I think so. I may not be. I'm not sure. You need to be uploading to Reels. Don't put it on your page, dude. My Reels are are performing. Banging. Great. Yeah. I'm up to like almost 180,000 followers on Instagram now. Oh, okay. Well, shit. Maybe I'll check that. And that may be what I'm not doing. Just mass dump, mass dump your TikTok content without the watermarks into reels on Instagram. It'll, it'll, I don't even know how to do without what the TikTok watermarks. I can just do the videos. I have all the videos. You can, you can run it through a, uh, through a thing that takes watermark off or, you can copy link and there's apps that you can actually save your video through oh, and it'll right. just automatically remove the watermark. Nice. All right. I'll take yeah. a peek at that. I'll see. I'll send you I'll that see. out. Okay, cool. That'll work. It's been very, very helpful. I'm going to jump Dude. off. Yep. If, I got to get to bed. I got work. I, I got work in the morning. Uh, text me whatever address you want me to send to the Jersey. I'll, I'll uh, put it in the mail uh, Monday. I may actually have it sent straight to the framer. <laughs> okay, you just give me that address. I'll send it to there. But just uh, let me know. Let me know how much. Nothing. Well, I'm gonna at least pay for shipping, dog. I'm doing fine, Justin. It's cool. Bet, bet. I'll look <laughs> you up. I'll look you All up. right, all right, uh, man. That sounds good. Hey, thanks. If you need no problem, you bet. Stay out of trouble, dude. Yeah, See you. Too.